This is the third step, and it's going to be on the sensor adjustments. First, I want to say one thing. All of our machines are interchangeable from the very first version, eight years, nine, almost nine years ago, to the version now. Route 66, Candy Depot, Candy Train, World Cup, Smarties Crane, and Prize Rocket. I can interchange every part on every machine. Some of them might have an extra, you know, one small cable or something, but other than that, all boards are interchangeable. All of the sensors are pretty much interchangeable. All the coin mechs are interchangeable. The gantries are all interchangeable. So a lot of the parts are all interchangeable. Um, we might have to make a change to something to make it work, but, but they're all interchangeable with each other. So that's the first thing. On a sensor adjustment, from the very first machine to now, they're all about the same. The first version is depending on the version of the of EEPROM you have in your main board. The first machines, like the first year or two, you, you have to have no credit on the machine. You make your adjustments on your on your your sensor, which is right there. You make your adjustments on your sensor by moving the pot, but you don't have to have a credit on the machine on those first on those first machines. Those versions, the way it was set up, you could adjust that red light on or off with no credit. Everything newer than that, you have to have a credit on the machine or you'll never get the light on. So, with that being said, as you can see right here, this has a potentiometer right here. A little small yellow potentiometer. It could be a blue one um, with a white center. Right next to the potentiometer is that hole right there, and that is the, the little red LED hole. That's your light that tells you, you know, what, if it's working or not working. Um, so, with this machine, you have to have a credit on the machine to make your adjustment. You take it and make your adjustment. If, if it's not sending, seeing anything, it's, it's way too sensitive. You can't see it, so you've got to adjust it left until the light comes on. Okay, once the light comes on, you stop and back it off a little bit until the light goes off. If it's not sensing at all, or if it's sensing every time, I should say, if it's sensing every time, you need to go back and adjust it. That means the red light's probably always on, and either something is down in the chute in front of one of the sensors, or this sensor here is out of adjustment. So you're going to have to adjust it right, which is clockwise, until the light goes off. At that point, either you're turning it left to get it on and stop and back it off till it goes off, or you're adjusting it right till it goes off. At that time, once you get it to that spot where it's off, you need to move it a little more. As the machine starts moving around, it'll flicker if it's right on that edge. So, on the all versions except for this this last year, 2011-12, only had one sensor. All of our new machines now have dual sensors. We have a sensor right here in the front door, and we have a sensor in the back door. All of our new machines have a back door available straight to that sensor. So there's dual sensors, on one on the back of the chute, one on the side of the chute now. And they're both adjustable. So if you're in here adjusting this sensor and it's not doing anything or it's not responding right, you may have to go to the back of this crane and adjust that sensor first. I always adjust them all the way left on the back one and then come to the side because they do affect each other and adjust it to where you need it to be. With that, that's the end of this section, the sensor and sensor adjustments.